Hi, how are you going? I hope you're feeling as well as possible on your medicines. I'm Pharmacist Fee. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to the final episode of this Medicine Safety 7 Things You Can Do series. Number seven of the seven things that you can do is to know your healthcare rights and questions you can ask to find out more about your medicines so that you can share in decision-making with your health professionals like doctors, pharmacists and more. A lot of people don't know that in recent years, there's been a very positive new movement in the field of medicine, which is called patient-centered care, which means in Australia, we now have a charter of seven healthcare rights. And I will put a link to the Australian Charter of Healthcare Rights into the description section below this video for you and on my pharmacistfee.com website. Are you ready to find out what Australia's seven healthcare rights are? Great. Here they come. Number one, access. Number two, safety. Number three, respect. Number four, partnership. Number five, information. Number six, privacy. And number seven, give feedback. So what do these rights mean? Your right to access means you have a right to access services and treatments that meet your healthcare needs. Your right to safety means you have a right to safe and high quality healthcare that meets national standards in an environment that is safe and makes you feel safe. Respect means you have a right to be treated as an individual with dignity and respect and to have your culture, identity, beliefs and choices recognised and respected. Partnership means you have a right to ask questions and be involved in open and honest communication about your healthcare and to make decisions with your healthcare provider to the extent that you choose and that you're able to. If you'd like to include other people in healthcare planning and decision making, you're welcome to do that as well. Your right to information means you have a right to clear information about your medical conditions and the possible benefits and risks of different tests and treatments. Give informed consent or not, depending on your choice. And it also means that if you need help, you'll be given help to understand and use health information. You'll have access to your health information and you'll be given information about services, waiting times and costs. Plus, if something goes wrong during your healthcare, you'll be told about it and how it happened and how it may affect you and what is being done to make your healthcare as safe as possible in future. Privacy means your personal privacy will be respected and information about you and your health will be kept secure and confidential. And last but definitely not least, give feedback means you have a right to give feedback or make a complaint without it affecting the way you are treated and to have your concerns addressed in a transparent and timely way and to share your experience and participate to improve the quality of healthcare and health services in Australia. I will put links into the description section below this video, which you're welcome to use if you have any feedback or complaints about healthcare in Australia. One of the best things about this charter of healthcare rights and the bright new world of medicine that is patient-centered care is that you are now more responsible for your health than ever before. How great is that? Woohoo! You're not expected to know everything, but it's a good idea to ask questions, to find out as much as you can about your medical conditions and your medicines, so you can be as safe and well as possible. Here are some example questions for you. How will I know if this medicine works? And how long does it usually take to start working well? How long might I need to take this medicine? What might happen if I stopped taking this medicine suddenly? What might happen if I don't ever take this medicine? Are there other treatment options? And if so, how do their effectiveness and risks compare with this medicine's effectiveness and risks? And how much is this medicine likely to cost? I also happen to have a link to a great set of example questions that you are welcome to ask your doctor or pharmacist about your medicines. Plus, make sure you watch video one from this series about making a medicines, allergies and contacts list with your doctor and pharmacist. 
to learn more about the best ways to take your medicines and side effects to watch out for, plus medicine interactions to try to avoid, my top take home tip from this video is don't ever feel uncomfortable about asking your doctor or pharmacist anything about your medicines. Because with patient-centered care, that's what they're there for. Yay! Please click the subscribe and like buttons below this video if you would like to see more of these medicine safety videos. And Denver and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon here on this Pharmacist Fee Medicine Safety YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good boy, little. What a lovely goodbye. You did so well.